how happy were you with your performance last night? Uh, overall, I was pretty happy with the performance. Um, you know, after qualifying through, I was able to just kind of go out and enjoy the skate and enjoy the program overall. Uh, I was a bit disappointed with the fall on the LUTs, but as it's been going really well in practice and uh, my training run-throughs have been going really well. Uh, but overall, you know, I was able to fight for the rest of the program after that and put out a program that I was pretty happy with in the end. And we saw some incredible performances there last night. What's it like for you, a young figure skater, to, to watch some of those performances like Adelina and, and Carolina and Yuna? Uh, you know, it was incredible to see, especially uh, the last warm-up group, some of the performances there. Uh, Carolina was absolutely phenomenal. Um, she didn't have the technical content as, the, as Yuna and Adelina and as well as some of the other girls like the Americans, but her overall performance was breathtaking. It was just captivated the audience from start to finish. Um, Yuna skated brilliantly. The program was gorgeous, the whole thing. and. Um, Adelina, it was great to see her put together two really solid performances and uh, you know she has always has struggled the past few seasons and it was great to see her go out and succeed and win. Uh, the f step out on the first triple toe was a bit disappointing but I was able to think on my feet and uh, keep going, keep pushing and fighting for the rest of the program and uh, make the triple loop instead of a solo jump the combination and then uh, you know, put out a good performance overall. How do you do that think on your feet and add an element into a program which you've obviously prepared in a set way for so long? Uh, you know, it's something that you practice, I guess, in practice sometimes. If you make a mistake like that on a training run through, then, you know, you have, you have to act like it's in competition and then you go and you do the combination on the next jump and you know, it's something that I've done a couple times this season in practice, but not too often. And uh, you just have to, you know, remember to keep thinking and, uh, you know, stay confident for the rest of the performance. Going into Worlds, I think more or less the programs will stay about the same. We might uh, switch out an element or two in the short program, try to make it a little more difficult. Uh, but, you know, just keep running programs and uh, keep everything going the way it is and uh, keep training everything well and hopefully skate well in uh, Japan. Four more years, are we going to see you at another Olympics? I hope so. Uh, I plan on trying to stick through for another four more years and hopefully be in Korea for 2018. And on the lighter side, at the Olympics you've had a chance to see a couple of other sports and you've got a couple more days. If you were to do any other sport at the Olympics, what would you do? Um, I have never snowboarded before, but I love watching the halfpipe and some of the snowboard events, and that looks like a lot of fun. So